Shalom, first of all, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha HaKodash. Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God. And His only begotten Son's name is Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. That those are their proper names in the Paleo Hebrew. Of course, uh, coming by Hashem in the name of the, of the Holy Spirit or Ha Hakodash. All right. Uh, of course, I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who rule well, and peace and salutation to all of the sincere Akim that are out there on the highways and hedges, putting all on the line, you know, to be defenders of the gospel, um, to wake up the elect. Of uh, the nation of Israel Which consists of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans And of course you confusion the face uh, Israelites which are the Israelite foreigners Who look like the, of course the heathen Where we of course been scattered too But are in fact Israelites Going by your this, the seed line of uh, um, your father Alright Being that your father Uh Go back to a Negro, Latino, Native American, and uh, this is you know through this through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know because uh, you know a lot of us of course don't have that genealogy anyway. So I mean, you know as Romans eight and uh, and uh, what's that eight and sixteen uh, goes into is our spirit that bear witness that we are the children of the Most High. All right, so uh, you know if it, it bear witness with these scriptures, you know it's most likely you are Israelite. All right. Um, but, uh, without further ado, I'm going to go into this, uh, this lesson here. Um, it's, uh, off naturalnews.com and it reads, careless sex practices may be contributing to female infertility. Okay. Which that deals with, uh, of course, uh, you know, women, uh, of course, uh, being unable to bear ch children, the bit, you know, so we going to go into it just so we can get a. Deeper understanding on the word inability to conceive children or young. All right. Um, so that's basically it on that. All right. So just so that we know exactly what we're actually speaking on. All right. So let's continue on. So careless, right? Careless sex practices may contribute, may be contributing to female f infertility. It says researchers urge additional testing for chlamydia. All right. This was published on the, the second, uh, or so I get it, January the twelfth, twenty eighteen. Okay, so let's uh, go into this article. It says uh, scientists are being asked to take into consideration a new aspect where it comes to acquiring sexually transmitted diseases, all right, or otherwise known as uh, STI, sexually transmitted. Uh, Infections in the UK, um, I believe they call it that. It's classified, but continuing on, it says mainly in part because there are now forms of STD that can be transmitted even through oral and anal sex. Oral sex, of course, deals with, of course, uh, sexual intercourse being via a sexual act being via the, using the mouth. All right, where your, your partner <coughs> would, of course, use their mouth. All right. But anyway, going on and anal sex that deals with, of course, uh, that's sodomy. All right, so that's uh, you know, going into, of course, uh, you know, uh, the anus. All right, and penetration, and that's uh, that's sodomy. Okay, that's homosexuality, and that's regardless of if uh, you know, uh, you uh, are going in um, on your woman. All right, that's still considered sodomy. That's a uh, uh. uh that's an unpure sex act, all right, which we'll get into um, <coughs> sodomy, um, into the definition of it, too. But continuing on, it says, does active oral sex contribute to female infertility? This is a question by University of Maryland School of Dentistry P Professor Patrick B Bavoy, Voyle, Slaki. It says, and his colleagues at the University of Maryland in Baltimore. It says, in the study which appeared in the journal Journal of Infectious Disease on November 15, 2017, Bravoli, or Bravo, Slakia, and his colleagues presented a compelling argument that can support their hypothesis, which a hypothesis is an educated guess, all right? 
that chlamydia track chlamotis m- matis like it can be can go like it from a principal pathogen all right so i'm gonna go into uh, this uh, word pathogen just so we can go into it real quick um go into words it's a bacterium or uh, it says virus or microorganism that can cause a disease all right so that chlamydia right here uh the trachomatis can go from a uh, principal pathogen you mean a, a bacterium or a vi- right, vi- virus that can cause disease to a commensual organism opportunistic pathogen all right which uh you know we can uh, go into defining that uh let me see i'm gonna just see if i can get this real quick Right, commensal organism such as a bacteria. Um, we could we could define it. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna try to look it up real quick. But I don't want to make this uh too long. You know, going into this uh lesson. All right. So um, let me just look it up real quick on Google. No, I'm gonna go to it right here. What is an example of an opportunistic, opportunistic bacteria, pathogen? I'm gonna just get to this one right here. Opportunic bacteria. Uh, an opportunic infection is an infection caused by pathogens. Bacteria, viruses, or fungi are protozoa that can take advantage of an opportunity not normally available, such as host with a weakened weakened immune system and alter microbiota such as a disrupted gut flora or breach in to gumetary barriers all right so you have uh you know a ba- basically an abnormal um case of uh you know where this bacteria wouldn't normally uh you know it wouldn't take this path but you know now it's you know, this back these bacteria are you know they 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 starting to be smart and 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 do something of course that's not uh you know not 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 so uh normally available all right so they just taking an opportunity all right um that's basically it on that so i'm gonna go back now uh to uh the, the, the article and then i'll get of course some scri- scriptures it says chlamydia is the most commonly reported bacterial genital infectious disease in women in the united states okay so chlamydia that's a um a commonly reported uh you say uh std all right or sti all right it says it could be asthmatic producing or showing no symptoms all right so you can have this uh std STI, most women can have it without showing, of course, uh, any signs, all right? It says, are weekly symptomatic, showing a sign, something undesirable. If left untreated via antibiotics or the body's immune system, which, uh, you know, Yahabah Shemi Ashai set us up with a, a, a you know, a, a immune system to take care of, of course, all the different um, ailments, all right, that we, uh, of course, have to bear here in in Babylon, all right, and wherever the uh, different places we have been scattered amongst, all right, the different nations and such, you know, yeah, that's a, uh, you know, a uh, blessing, you know, be able to fight it, but of course, we under the course, cur- curses, you know, the nation of Israel, which consists of you Negroes, Latinos, and Americans, and you confusion of face, all right, Israelites, Israelite foreigners, right, you know, and uh, part of the curses is that, of course, different plagues, all right, different diseases uh, shall, of course, be placed upon us. All right, for, of course, our disobedience to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which is our power. All right, um, going on, it says, uh, it says, uh, if left untreated, 
Yeah, let me continue on. The infection can lead to more dangerous problems such as pelvic inflammatory disease, uh, uh, ectomotic pregnancy. All right. She go on to this real quick. It's seen in an, an abnormal position. All right. So you have a pregnancy in an abnormal position, a place, you know. Uh, it says, uh, Eureka. It says cervicitis, cervicitis, it's like if I'm pronouncing it wrong, it says intubial factor infertility, all right? Chlamydia sometimes doesn't manifest itself in the body of a person who contacted it. He or she will be surprised to find that he or she has it. It says a few months or even years later. All right, which uh, it's it's crazy because uh, you know, we have to deal with all of this. You know, our women are defiled. All right, um, you know, here, uh, being whored, whores and such. You know, uh, you know, sleeping with all type of other men, which they commit adultery against their men. All right, which they should be, of course, put to death for, and uh, men, of course, that sleeps with them. But um, you know, this is the type of stuff that goes on here in this uh, wicked kingdom. Which is ruled over by Esau Edom, which is a so-called white man. All right, which uh, the, so you so-called white people are the biblical Edomites that the Bible sh- speaks of, and you are the wicked. All right, stuff like this happens. All right, uh, it says in developed san- san- sanitized regions of the world, sexually transmit transmission remains the major route. Um. By C. Trachmotis dissemates among men and women. GI colonization may, however, be making a comeback with the help of increasing oral sex practices. They added, you know, um, it says having this. Having said this, researchers have opinion that clinicians should be recommended to move beyond that has been tried, tested mode. Of screening for chlamydia by expanding testing to rectal or uh, far pharyngeal areas of sexual active adults and not merely their your your genital sites. All right, so I'm gonna go into this real quick. It's probably just like down below. Yep. It says, uh, this term right here, your genital is meaning of or relating to or denoting both the urinary and genital organs. All right. You know, being down, you know, you'll say, uh, your region such as your, uh, <laughs> uh, you say mama thun in the Hebrew, I believe. Uh, and you got the koba, you know, for, uh, the vagina. All right. Down there and such. So it's like now, you know, uh. You know, going through the screening, they want to check out your mouth, you know. <laughs> but, um, you know, you could go into it. It says chlamydia can, this is more facts on chlamydia. Chlamydia can be considered a recurring disease. Just because you were treated for it in the past doesn't mean that you can't get infected again. If your sexual partner has has it or and had, you had unprotected sex. All right, which is uh, it's ridiculous because uh, here in this uh, society, you know, we have to use things such as uh, uh, different matters of uh, contraception, which uh, pre- uh, prevents uh, childbirth and such like that, you know, uh, which we, of course, are supposed to be fruitful. We were put on this earth to be fruitful and multiply, you know, our seed. But here on earth, you know, due, due to uh, the so-called white man, we are now um, limited, you know, and we under different curses where it's like, you know, when we have children, you know, we uh we don't even get to enjoy them. You know, uh, our, our relationship between uh, our women and ourselves, me and us men, all right. Uh, especially of of course us Israelite men, all right. That's who he's talking. I'm talking to, of course, the elect, really, all right. Uh, but the nation of Yasha Allah, you know, we we can't enjoy our 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 seed. You know, some of us can 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 even uh go go about and uh have children uh in this uh society. Due to, you know, how much Esau has uh, defiled, you know, our women and um, the different things that he does to men to lower their testosterone level and just go against, of course, the entire natural cycle that Yahweh Shimri Shai set up. All right. For 
you know, uh, this earth and the people upon it, all right? You know, people look at you as if, uh, you know, you got people with different uh, beliefs and philosophies that we're actually the problem, when it's really the wicked that's the problem. The righteous, uh, you know, being, of course, the elect, you know, uh, nation of Yashala, you know, uh, they, they go, they're, of course, going to follow law, statute, and commandments, and that's going to keep them well. All right, but you know we can't even follow our law, statute, commandments. Uh, you know, here in this captivity to a hundred percent. You know, especially being in this flesh. You know, but Esau he makes it very difficult. All right, here. You know, uh, so yeah, we got to resort to using uh, you know, these different uh, con con uh, contraception, um, like like condoms for males and such. Like the, you know, you have to use those, and you know, those uh, break and. Then, you know, you, you could be, of course, exposed to a sexual t transmitted disease if the woman, of course, has it, you know, and it's just crazy. You know, we, we can't, of course, uh, you know, um, have a, a peace of mind when we are having, of course, the act of uh, sex. All right. You know, with our uh, woman, which sex is, of course, uh, and constitutes marriage. All right. When you join together with a woman and have sex, that's marriage. All right. Via the scriptures that says, you how about you shot? All right, so I'm going to continue on. It says, the only way to lower your risk of contracting STD, such as chlamydia, is to stay in a long-term mutual monogamous, uh, you know, being with one woman, which, uh, you know, is crazy, too. You know, that's, uh, you know, Esau thinks that you just have one woman and that's it. You know, when the Israelite man was created, of course, to have multiple women, all right? And it's lawful to have multiple women, all right? But, you know, what Esau doesn't... Uh, you know, promote really is women being, uh, you know, uh, knowing to follow law, statute, commandments, and to be limited to her husband. Instead, they go off. Women go have sex with other men. You know, get emotional, uh, and just they're just wicked. All right, uh, you know, and this is pertaining to you, wicked women. All right, out there, this this is for those that, of course, are, you know, not uh, being obedient into the holy scriptures. All right, which uh forbids you know adultery and such all right you know for those women that of course are being obedient to your Shem you know to your you know of course your uh your man all right which you was set up to be your uh you know your god your lord over you referring to the order in corinthians you know this uh keep being keep doing good to him and 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 and, and keep being good to uh and keep being true and to the law statute commandments all right so anyway it says uh a sexual um, a long-term mutual mon uh mon mon uh, it's like you always get I, monogamous sexual relationship with a person who tested negative for any kind of sexually transmitted infection sti and or and are to use protection such as condoms every time you have sex all right you know, so that's the that's the that's the whole uh you know thing with uh with uh Esau's uh society, all right? You know, which is it's crazy that, you know, we uh you know, us men, you know, uh women uh, acclaim you know, that we of course uh uh it, it can have a could have a, a, a STI when we don't, you know, just because, you know, they're wicked suspicions and such like that. You know, them of course not uh, the test, being tested them own selves, you know, just them just being a horse. All right. You know, and it's ridiculous to have to be, first of all, it's ridiculous anyway, that, you know, we have to go about being tested in general when we have to deal with these, you know, these women and such, you know, have to ask them if they clean or not. It's, it's ridiculous. But anyway, you know, without further ado, I'm going to go into uh, these scriptures, you know, and, uh, spiritually, uh, you know, give, bring out some edification. All right. Um, this is going to be Deuteronomy 23. And I'm going to get the scripture. Let me find it. Um, this is Deuteronomy 23 and 17. It reads, There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. All right. So that's, of course, speaking and referring to the uh, the women of the Negroes, Latinos, and the American. That's which consists of. The, na the nation of Israel, the confusion of face as well, right? Okay. Nor a sodomite in the of the sons of Israel. All right. So of course, our you know we ain't of course supposed to go off and and, and commit any uh, sodomy, sodom, sod, some any 
uh, acts that are uh, of sodomy, all right? So, you got the uh, sodom sodomite is, uh, what's that, quad, 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 quadesh? It's, it's, uh, of course, it's different from quadash, being uh, separate, if I'm not mistaken, but um, it's a shud, and right? Uh, let's go on to it. So Sodomite. All right. They, of course, Esau got as a uh, a, a male temple prostitute. Um, that Esau, Esau, you know, blue letter. It goes and only, you know, it goes only so far sometimes, you know. But uh, he got unclean. All right. I'm going to go into the word some more with Sodomite. Uh, let me, I could try to pull up. Uh. Let me see, I'm going to try to pull up the etymology. All right. Sodomite. Or sodomy, really, I should go get. Get it real quick. See, sodom. Yeah, sodomy, this is what I'm going to get. Give me a moment. Sodomy, unnatural sexual relations. All right. Such as those imputed to the inhabitants of biblical Sodom, especially between persons of the same sex, but also with beasts. All right, anal sex it got here, Latin uh, peccatum, tum, peccatum, Sodom meat could come. Anal sex literally the sin of Sodom. All right, you know so, you know, anal sex and such, uh, and unnatural sexual relations. You know, sticking your your uh, penis into a woman, uh, like into her, it's like a, into a woman's anal cavity. All right, that's uh, that's that that's unnatural. All right, you're supposed to go into the vaginal canal. All right, but uh, you know, just hitting that point. But we ain't supposed to have any whores. All right, women, of course, having sex, you know, with other men of our uh, of uh, other than their husband. All right, women, of course, supposed to be uh, you know. Deem you know be, being being their loyalty onto one man, you know we wouldn't have uh, STDs and stuff, you know if uh, we went by of course the orders of Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai. All right, so let's uh, go on to uh, another scripture. This is Deuteronomy twenty eight and I believe it's fifty four, and it says, uh, let me see, is this a scripture? It might be another one. Uh, yeah, this uh. See, let me get it one second. It's Deuteronomy 28 and, and 56. Slock you. The tender and delicate woman among you, all right, which our women are tender and delicate, and women means female servant, all right. Um, tender, of course, meaning like weak, all right, you know, uh, delicate, you know. You're going to go into these terms right here, real quick. He's deep. So delegate, you get uh, anag in the Hebrew, lashwan uh, kodash. Delicate, dainty, you know, exquisite, being of course, uh, you know, being being uh, you know, desirable, you know. And our our women, so look, it got soft in there. You know, our women, you know, they're far from that, you know, on this side, you know. You know, in the flesh, you know, we, we look upon them, be desiring them, but, you know, that's being on the flesh, and it's like they're far from being women, you know, being uh, dainty as what they were in the ancient world, all right? You know, because stuff like this th didn't go, uh, you know, like women couldn't be like like how they are uh, these days. They would be put to death on the spot. So it says the tender woman, the tender and delicate woman among you, which would not venture to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness. All right. So it was like, you know, women, you know, we, we you know, if you look back in the movies and such, you can see women uh, up on, uh, you know, don't even get to touch the ground. She got like she being hoisted on a, um, <laughs> with like two two slaves and stuff, you know, carrying her around and such, you know, you know they was they was, uh, uh, you know, they was a. Uh, you know, we, we they, they was like precious you were put, you know, and she, the possession of her husband. But anyway, going on, it says her eyes shall be evil toward her, towards the husband of her bosom and towards her son and towards her daughter. All right. 
so our women, you know, uh, her eye evil, and it's like, you know, uh, we have our, these, these women, they'll go and, um, you know, they, they'll they have an STD, infect some men, infect a man with an STD, um, and then, uh, you know, do my find out, and then confront front her or something, and then, and in that, you know, she, 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 uh, you know, bring out all matter of lies and such like that, you know, which is crazy, you know, but, you know, that's the type of stuff that goes on, you know, because, you know, women are so haughty and proud, you know, they don't want to, um, you know, so wanton, meaning un undisciplined, all right, and they don't want to own up to, you know, their wickedness, all right, you know, so, uh, which I get this scripture right here. Uh, this is uh, Sirach, uh, Sirach, or Sirach, um, Ecclesiastes, 25th chapter in the Apocrypha, right? Um, and uh, I'm going to start here at 18. Uh, Sirach, 25 and 18. Her husband shall sit among his neighbors, and when he heareth it, shall sigh bitterly. All right? You know, because, you know, when when we basically, you know, amongst our brethren, you know, we'd be like, damn, man, all this, you know, the wicked stuff, the hell that we catch from these wicked, these wicked women, you know, we, it, 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 it grieves us, you know, you know, our women can't be precious, you know, and, uh, and, um, and, and dainty and stuff on this side, you know, because they're defiled and such, you know, it's crazy. It says all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her, you know, and you know you could get caught up, you know, getting uh, you know, your brothers gotta watch out when they dealing with these women, you know, they they got these uh, you know, some of them, most of them got STDs and such, you know, so you gotta watch out, and she can uh, think it's nothing, yo, just go and you know take a pill or some shit, go get a go get an antibiotic and they get cleared up and stuff, when you know that's a disease you dealing with, all right, um. Let me see, uh, let me see, I'm gonna, uh, go down to 24. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die, you know, going back to Genesis with, uh, Eve, all right, you know, of course her going, you know, uh, dealing with the serpent being a so-called, that was the serpent being a uh, so-called white man, really, but, uh, he had, uh, he had his pigment at the time, you know, Shatan. And, uh, you know, she took up uh, his philosophy and then, of course, uh, you know, took it to Adam. All right. Let's go down. It says, 20, Sirach 25 and 25, give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to get abroad. All right. You know, so because if you give, uh, you know, a wicked woman uh, liberty, she will basically go out. And what she's going to do is, is she's going to, of course, have sex with uh, multiple men and such like that. You know, and, you know, she bring, come home and bring you back something, all right? Something that you don't want, all right? She like, a, as I believe the scriptures say, a thirsty traveler or something like that. But uh, that's basically it on there. Now I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to go to uh, Ecclesiastes 1. All right, this is, uh, I'm going to start here. Ecclesiastes, Slakia, 1 and 1. The words of the preacher the son of Dawada, David, right? King David, king in in Jerusalem. So this is king, the son of King David. Dawada is uh, Solomon, which when you go into it in the reincarnation, that was Yahweh Shai. All right. So uh, I'm gonna go into it just real quick. Say uh, vanity of vanities, which vanity means worthless, right? Uh, vanity of vanity said. The preacher, vanity of vanities, all is vanity, all right. Um, and it's, it's it's like, you know, even even right here, our sex here is uh you know basically vain and worthless because uh you know we can't even enjoy it being that he having these uh, STDs and stuff and worry, you know you 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 going and dealing with a woman you gotta worry about, you know if I'm uh if I'm uh gonna catch something you know and it's crazy. You know, all the different accusations women they try to place upon a man and such. It's ridiculous. So I'm going to go to uh, another precept real quick. You know, this is uh, being put together uh, in the spirit. Y'all by Shimei of Shai. This is Ecclesiasticus, or Ecclesiastes, like, yeah, he's getting mixed up. 
one and fifteen. Uh, I'm actually I'll start here at um. I'm gonna start here at verse thirteen. Ecclesiastes, uh, one and thirteen. It says, "And I gave my heart, meaning his mind." This is uh Solomon, right? I gave my heart to seek and search out by wisdom concerning all things that are done under Shemayim or heaven, right? Meaning earth, right? This sore travail hath the most high Yahweh Bashim Shai given to the sons of, of men men to be exercised with their with. Alright. It says I have seen in all seen sorry it says I have seen all the works that are done under the sun and behold all is vanity and vexation of the spirit. You know? So, you know gives us of course problems. Alright. You know State of being annoyed, vexation, vexation uh, frustrated, or worried. You know, it's worrying, worrisome to have to worry about, uh, you know, women, you know, and their careless sex practices. You know that, you know, um, even oral sex. You know, they got, a, they got, they going into testing that. You know, with screening women with this. Uh, you know, them have, of course, uh, you see, uh, maybe contributing them to infertility. That's how. That's how much of a curse. How about Shim Yao Shah is placing upon these women, you know, where they're making them, you know, unable to conceive child, all right, barren and such, all right. Uh, let's continue on, and it says this is a point right here Ecclesiastes 1 and 15 that which is crooked cannot be made straight, and that which is wanting cannot be numbered, all right. So that is that is crooked, all right. When you go into that word crooked, we're gonna go into it real quick, all right. So crooked. Let's see where is it at, real quick. Give me a moment. Um, a lot. Um, a a lot and a and a tha, a lot, and if uh it, it means here, right here. Bent, perverted, all right. Okay, which is anything that's uh, perverted and crooked that's outside of the temple, outside of the, the temple of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, outside of the law, statute, commandments. All right, that 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 which is correct. All right, you know, so you know, you know, our women, you know, they 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 it's gonna take Yahweh Bashem Yahshai destroying them to put them in line. All right. You know, because they don't, a lot of these women, they just want to be whores. And they don't, they don't see it, uh, that it's, um, uh, wise to just be with one man and not, uh, you know, uh, deal with all other, uh, uh other, uh, men out there. You know, they want to try it out, you know, like try out other men and such, you know, and, 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 um, you know, just, it's just ridiculous. I mean, the matter, the different things that the women do is ridiculous. That's why, um, you know, um, it says here in verse 18, uh, or actually I could start here at 17. It says, and I, this is, this is, uh, Solomon, right? It says, and I gave my heart, my mind to know wisdom and to know madness and folly. And I perceive, perceive that this also is vexation of the spirit it says for in which wisdom is much grief. And he that increases knowledge increases sorrow because you end up learning, you know, things such as, you know, these careless sex practices of women, you know, women, uh, you know, being uh, so perverse. All right. And being so wicked and, of course, being uh, uh, plagued with all these diseases. All right. Which is, uh, you know, part of the, uh, the curses, um, you know, the nation of Israel, our daughters of Zion. Uh, have uh, you know that was a that was a that was a, uh, a, a a curse right here. This is uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 21. Yahweh shall make pestilence cleave unto thee until he have consumed thee from off the land, whether thou goest and possess. All right, so you know it, you know wherever we go we got diseases that is plagued you know cuz you know you can go anywhere too 
You know, you think you oh these girls here, they 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 uh they they right. You know, you think you gonna go to like a little desolate place. You know, I ain't that much men around here. These girls is you know behind closed door having sex with every man under the sun. All right, you know. It says, uh, Yahweh shall smite thee with the consumption and with the fever, you know, and with an inflammation. And with extreme burning, with the sword and blasting, and with mildew, and they shall pursue thee until thou perish. All right, you know, and so, you know, we got all inflammation, you know, that's dealing, of course, with different diseases and such, you know. So, you know, we got these curses, man. It's crazy, man. You know, it's hard to live here, you know, uh, being in this society, you know. So, uh, no, that's why we pray every day that Yahweh Shem get up out of get us up out of here so we can be in our kingdom, you know, under righteous rulership. All right. This is Proverbs 31 and 3. And it says, Give not thy strength unto women, nor thou thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. All right. Which uh, you know, really when you go down into it, us being the princes of the power. You know, we are the, 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 uh, we are really the, you know, when you go into it, we are, you know, kings, you know, a nation of kings and priests, you know, and, you know, if you go into the history, you know, there's many women that, of course, have brought down, you know, many, uh, you know, kings, rulers, all right, you know, you know, and, uh, you know, like it says in the scriptures, many have run out of their whips of women, you know, just listening to her. Falling weak, getting weak knees and such, as the scriptures, uh, you know, say. You know, that's why we post, post, not supposed to put our strength into these women, all right? These wicked women, all right? As it says, uh, let me see, uh, uh, this is back to Sirach 25 and, and 23. A wicked woman abateth the courage. All right, so I'm going to go into this word, abateth, all right? The moment you saw trying to shatan is trying to stop this uh this definition from popping up <laughs> this is ridiculous man but this is this is the type of fight you know we gotta fight you know when we get in uh heavy into this truth you know uh you know doing the work you how about shimmy i was shy you know satan and shatan don't want all of this truth to come out you know that's why i say of course uh we wrestle not against uh, flesh and blood, but principalities, uh, you know, in high places, roughly paraphrasing. Let me see if I can go to dictionary.com. Give me a moment. Just bear with me. Yeah, nothing popping up for right now. But uh, you know, I'm a, uh, you know, I'll go and go, you know, and go into it another time. I'm a, I'm gonna continue on though. No, that's fucking it's your time. A wicked woman abateth the courage, make maketh an heavy countenance. A in a wounded heart, so a woman, you know, she, she, you know, bring you, bring you, bring you, uh, you know, heavy face, you know, mean like, hey, damn, like low, you know, you all depressed and such, right? And a wounded heart, meaning your, uh, being your mind and such, you know. You hurt you, you know. Wicked woman try to hurt you and such, you know. And you know that happens when you uh coming up into this truth, you know. You know women are, of course uh will try to hurt you, you know, in this truth, you know. Um and just women outside, you know, Shaitan use women in the world, just regular women. You not that's not even with you, you know. You not even dating and nothing. These women just try to of course bring down your uh you know your self esteem, you know. Try to tell you lies and all of that, you know. And it's just all rick wickedness, you know. And and when you end up finding out, they lower, they 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 low, all right. You know they supposed to be underneath a man, you know, but they want to usurp authority over a man and such, you know. It's ridiculous. It says going on. It says a woman that will not comfort her husband in distress maketh weak hands and feeble knees, all right. You know, which a you know woman supposed to be a, a she supposed to be a help meet for a man, you know. But they don't want to do that. Instead, they just want to, of course, bring us sorrow. All right? Here on this side, you know? 
They don't want to be a, a support for a, a man of the Lord, you know. That's why, you know, there a lot of them going to be destroyed, all right. A lot of these women going to get destroyed out of here, all right. This is a quick, uh, this is uh, Sarat 25 and 13. Give me any plague but the plague of the heart. And you ain't mine, right? In any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman, you know? So it's like, you know, it's like, wow, man, like, you know, give me anything but, you know, the wickedness of a woman, because that's a high thing, you know, the wickedness. Women, you know, they, 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 they go to the end to just destroy your whole life, you know, and that, of course, has happened, you know, to me, you know, coming up, of course, in this truth and such, you know, I had a woman that, uh, you know, basically tried to destroy my entire life, all right, but, you know, it is what it is, you know, I got a new life in Yahweh Shai, all right, so, uh, you know, things is, uh, you know, how it's supposed to be, which is uh, going to, of course, suffering for righteousness sake, all right, so, uh, you know, anyway, you know, I was going into a lot of things, you know, going in the spirit of Yahweh Shai, hopefully you brothers was edified, you know, watch out for the careless sex practices, all right, of these women, you know, Yahweh Shai is putting these different curses, you know, infertility, all right, on them and such, you know, because they want to just go off and, you know, suck on up, blow every rod and, and, and uh, you know, be uh, not loyal to their man. All right, so uh, with that, I'm going to say, call halalim la yahu ba shim yahu shai ba hashem rakha hakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who, well, and peace and salutation to all of the sincere akim. They are fighting a good fight of faith, all right? Not giving up their integrity for these women, especially, all right? These wicked women, all right? You know, staying, of course, loyal unto their power. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, we got to keep fighting, you know, this this fight, you know, because we at the end. And we don't want to lose, our, of course, our crown, you know, by, of course, following behind, you know, a bitch with our, uh, you know, our having basically dra dragging our balls, you know? And, and, uh, you know, keeping us down, you know, trying to be a, she trying to be a man and such and trying to rule, you know, when she supposed to be underneath us, all right, you know, uh, so, you know, you brothers, uh, you know, uh, stay, stay up, you know, uh, you know, if you, you can, you know, it's better, you know, you not touch a woman as Paul, you know, he kind of, he, uh, had, uh, you know, kind of suggested, you know, and Corinthians and such. You no, know, but of course, if you burn, you know, you, you go deal with a woman. But, you know, there's a lot of us that's going to, uh, you know, abstain, you know, until, you know, the time Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, he brings us, uh, you know, into uh, you know, some of these different uh, prophecies coming to pass. Like, uh, is Isaiah 4 and 1, when the seven women shall cleave over into one man, take away, of course, their approach, roughly paraphrasing. You know, and it's like, this is part of some of their reproaches, all of their careless sex practices that they do, all right? You know, and bring STDs onto men and lie about it and all different type of things that these women do. But with that, I'm going to say Shalom.